and Jean Serge Gagnon. So today we're going to talk about how to get one million two hundred thousand increase in your audience. That's totally insane. Did you know that today you can get hundreds of thousands, millions of increase in your audience? it's possible it's still possible there's social media platforms out there that let you do that and I just discovered this crazy tweak if you will of one of the platforms that's been around for a long time and I was able to get this insane increase in my audience and I'm getting link clicks I'm getting you know engagement I'm getting views I'm getting everything that you you know think is gone from social media without paying humongous amounts of money for advertising that is available that is out there that is there for you to grab right now now I don't know how long that's going to be but you want to hear about this so we're going to talk about that how to get 1 million I got 1 million 200,000 and something I'm going to show you that in a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So you want to know how and what I'm talking about? We're going to show you right now. I'm going to show you what platform I'm talking about. Maybe you've already guessed but it's insane especially if you've been following me you probably see some of the posts I did some of the results I've gotten I showed that but let me just share my screen right here and show you exactly what I'm talking about so there you're going to see you there right there so you can probably guess who that is look at that insane one million let me just let me just look at that one million two hundred and fifty eight thousand one million two hundred fifty eight thousand increase in audience now what's the audience the total number of people whoops can we see that let me just uh, make that a little bit smaller it's kind of like kind of crazy right but what is that so total number of people who have seen or engaged on your pins that's right it's Pinterest I've even put together a page that talks about what are the Pinterest results what are my Pinterest results uh, it's called pincredible pincredible.com you can go to pincredibleresults.com and you're going to see these th this is how it started out right I mean when I first when I started out like on July 23rd and when I first decided okay I'm going to try to do this see what happens and look at that I had five monthly viewers on my account I had four four thousand two hundred followers it's still pretty good and that's one of the metrics that you know I've been kind of using on Pinterest is my followers right but the thing is that they say that Pinterest is the most engaged audience out there there's act people who are on Pinterest they're actually there to buy stuff they're actually looking to buy stuff they're kind of searching for things searching for ideas I still don't understand most of Pinterest I'm sure there's lots of trainings I could go through I could learn I'm sure I'm going to learn over time and the thing is that this is and you know I just started doing this I'm going to I don't know maybe I I don't know should I tell you right should I tell you what I've been doing maybe I'm not ready to tell you we'll see we'll see if I show you maybe I'll show you a few things but for now I just want to tell you look at this I got 89 85,000 versus five right and that's after just a couple of weeks right from uh, what is it from from July 23rd to August 4th you can see the results here and that this is a dip right there that's because of the weekend I don't usually do anything on the weekends uh, on social media this is where it started off I started off right here that was I guess the 20 third or something when I first did my first pins look at that from from zero to three hundred thousand impressions or 2.67 like I said the audience in Pinterest is your people who have seen or engaged with your pins then you've got engagements total number of engagements on your pins including saves close-up links and carousel swipes don't even know what those things are uh, and then engaged audiences number of people who engaged with your pins right so as you can see this was all zero right I mean if we look back at this screenshot I had here and see engagements I had 40 that that's only after a couple of days that's only after two days right when I first started I don't, I don't have those numbers except it shows zero 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 right there right my business hub five monthly viewers 4.2k and I guess now there's 3.6k followers because a bunch of people either stopped following me or at the time there were fake accounts or something right I'm not really sure 
but as you can see it went from zero to and this was 350,000 350,000 increase it's insane isn't it right so 350,000 increase in whoops let's scroll down over here in impressions right it's the number of times your pins were seen now this is a thing so in Pinterest pins are basically content right it's kind of like a post on Facebook or on Twitter or whatever right it's a pin it's it's a it's something that people see in their feed if I go to say for example my my feed here you can see what uh, the, what my what my feed looks like right you see my pins right the things I'm posting right and if I go to I'm not even sure if there's like a oh I guess yeah I guess when you're in Pinterest you can click on anything let's say I actually there's isn't there something there's a thing here if I just go business home feed okay but just go to home feed so the home feed is based on your uh you know likes if you will it's kind of like kind of like um Facebook or other platforms where you can depending on the actions you take and there's a lot of these things in here like there's a bunch of like it's kind of weird I'm a man so I uh so I'll see things that have you know that are like this manscape thing I see it all over the place I guess they're spending lots of money on ads these are ads and it's all about this uh this uh you know body shaver right and but the rest of the stuff that I see on my feed here is based on who I'm following and also based on what actions I've taken recently like I I like a lot of these um, these these vacation kind of beautiful spots or whatever so I'm going to go like this I'm going to say save this to here and that adds it to my um board right in Pinterest there's pins and boards right so this adds it to my board and that tells Pinterest that I'm you know kind of interested in that stuff so it'll show me more things that have to do with vacation if I was to you know like this this Star Trek thing right or Star yeah Star Trek thing I could put that in another board I could create a board that's you know about uh, science fiction or something and then this one here about cryptocurrencies or whatever so I get these things in my in my feed because of act actions I've taken so you certainly can do that um, and grow your grow some of your uh, stuff that way too uh, but really it's more about posting a certain kind of content a certain way and um yeah so okay so what what else can I tell you so that's okay so if I go back to my my profile here you can see right here that there's activity there's community and there's boards and like I said I'm not a, I'm not really these are my boards the places that I've in the I've had this account like for five years now so I had a lot of you know Instagram likes I did Twitter success tips I did YouTube success tips I did motivational um women's gym stuff I don't know some of this stuff is not even mine it's a pin a pin that I was added to as a contributor or something and I'm like I said I'm not really sure lots of how this works but I some of these pins are my pins other pins are pins that I've been invited to and uh the boards I mean the boards right so I've got these boards I've got the number of pins in here now if I if you look for example if I go to my uh where is that business no analytics if I go to analytics right here I'm going to show you the actual what it looks like right now right well actually that's what we're looking at a second ago let me just min min minimize that make that back to normal size okay so you can see the this here shows uh, analytics uh, sh the top boards look at that this board here had a hundred thousand impression five saves 192 link clicks so there's actually people clicking on my stuff they're actually interested in going to see what that is about right I got these pins here they got 24 link clicks here I got these ones 36 link clicks so I mean people are actually taking action I mean compared to like Facebook really do you get that many people clicking and even then on Facebook they say don't post a link in the comments get people engaged send them links through messages all this stuff on Pinterest that's what it's all about it's getting your link there and getting people to click it so this is totally insane look at that 119,000 impressions what else can I show you the number of uh, like uh, video views uh, no these are impressions so 10,000 impressions 7,000 7,000 7,000 oh you can't even see it sorry my face is in the way let's move my let's move my camera out of the way here a little bit move it up here 
yeah so right here you can see right here there's 10,000 impressions on this particular pin 7,000 here 7,300 here 6,000 6,000 now if I go to this board here you can see right here if I click on it it kind of take me to the board uh, and it'll show you kind of what this what each of these are right number of plays 242 237 418 208 404 795 1.3 k plays that's 1.3 thousand people that watched I don't know is it three seconds I'm not sure what the metrics are this is the number of saves how many people actually save that pin to their board right I obviously I'm not sure how you know what that is but it's still they they took action and they saved it they liked this pin and 931 people watched it 712 611 it's insane look look at that 200 and something 1.6 thousand right here uh it plays um uh, we can't see the link clicks in in this particular view here but there's link clicks there's other things going on uh what else uh what else can I show you if I go back to let's say right over here uh what else so let's say um notifications over here you're going to see things like you know, other people seeing stuff your ad was approved if, so I, I am doing a little bit of ads the head was rejected I don't know why they're it's it's just that's no different than with Facebook here's here's how the ads these are uh the ads are pretty simple all you got to do is you you post a pin let me just go back to I'll just show you here uh if I have a well actually you were seeing earlier but like if let's say I go to this board here on any of these pins that are showing up I'm going to put that back down the bottom here on any of these pins if I go say for example this pin here has got only three plays right I can click on this promote button right here and it'll ask me uh the budget daily budget you know how much do I spend whatever all this stuff it'll uh, and then destination url you need a url to they go to I'm going to just click on promote I'm going to spend 10 bucks I'll just click on this that that's it uh has been created we're viewing okay thank you so now they've the this one is being is being reviewed right just like any other uh, platform they review it then they'll tell you whether it's approved or not and that's it it's just like 10 I'm just putting 10 bucks into this particular pin right so that'll promote that pin on the thing now the other thing you got to be careful you got to make sure of is you want to be capturing your audience because well that's more an advanced thing but if you're interested in learning how to do that we can talk about that uh in an, in another uh, in another episode if you want to hear about how to target how to capture targets how the Pinterest you know pixel works and all this stuff let me know just comment and let me know reach out let me know that you'd be interested in hearing about that but that's uh that's another thing that you want to make sure you do if you're uh, you know more advanced if you want to know about this stuff what else um okay so let's just uh, do a create like if I create a pin here I'm going to create a pin actually before I do that I want to go check uh, these pins here which ones do I have let's just say so the way I work is I've got this uh, this daily stuff I post every day just like I'm posting right now and I basically go in and I post so I can see right now I got 184 182 80 so 79 to 87 so let's post number 188 so I've go I go to my over here so let's just do that uh, 188 uh, and I got this script that does things for me automatically that's and then it automates uh, my ability to um, so I got the Pinterest over here I'm going to just go 188 there we go and we're going to just go and create a pin so create a pin I'm going to open an image it's going to be into my course income secrets right here 188 we said right 188 188 there we go and we're going to take the SoundCloud image because this is a SoundCloud link and I'm going to just put the title here I'm going to put the short description and then I'm going to put the destination link so destination link will have to be my SoundCloud so number 
to my tracks number 188 I said right 188 did we say 188 yep right there so 188 is right here I'm going to go here share and this is the link I want this link here go back to the Pinterest where is it right here right here and my link is going to be this link and then I'm just going to say sound cloud course income there you go publish and that's how you publish a pin on Pinterest right so I just close this and now I have a new pin in here which is number 188 is it there um, do I have to reload maybe I forget if it gets reviewed yeah there it is so 188 that's so, right so I can create another pin if I go here I go here you can actually create more than one at a time so I can go in here so I'm going to go do 189 now 189 it's going to be this image and it's going to be 189 this one here copy the link back to here put the link here and then I go back to here and I go to my 189 So 189 is going to be my uh, this one here whoops I gotta make sure I do this right my title and then this one here is going to be this and there you go and now you could put uh oh I guess not on okay yeah not on pins okay so then we're going to go here and we're going to just choose the SoundCloud one and not click on the publish just click on this and I'm going to click on the plus right here and I can go to the next one which is 190 right here I just use this image here go back up to 190 right right over here like this let's get the title of this guy 190 uh, put that in the title right here and then over here we're going to do this the description and my oops did that not work there you go and my destination is number 190 which is this one here share copy the link go back here paste the link right here and go back to here soundcloud all right so now I have two pins I can you can prepare them you can set a published at a later date if you want I I haven't really bothered with that uh, but you so you can prepare things ahead of time right so I'm just going to click on the publish right here and I'm going to click on the publish right here so now we've got two new pins that I published they're in my you know uh, my soundcloud board where I post all my soundcloud video uh, not videos but images of my soundcloud and the thing is that with Pinterest right now <coughs> they want content they want people to be posting content they want content 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 you can be posting as many pins as you want uh you can you can post them you know 10 20 50 a day if you want just uh organize them in pins and then boards I mean based on the interest because people will follow a board they might follow a board but not <laughs> an account right you can follow a just a board so you want to make sure that I don't know say you have webinars you have interviews you have all these different things you put them in separate boards that have to do with that particular topic and and so people can follow that one thing right uh so if I go back to my uh what else can I show you uh well I mean that's that's the thing is this is just, it's totally insane like when I like I said right I got this is 119,000 impression 350,000 uh over here these are ads I just spent 45 bucks it's totally ridiculously nothing in ads that's over the last uh, two weeks or so uh, just for the fun of it try to do that look at that 262 link clicks can you get 262 link clicks from Facebook that's what is that let's just look at the calculator so that's that's uh what is it how do I do that I go 45 
dollars and 14 cents divided by 262 that's 17 cents per link click I mean Jesus on Facebook hey, let's go take a look at Facebook for the fun of it my Facebook uh, ads that I have here uh, this is my audiences go to my ads in Facebook I've spent lots of, a lot more money right but if I just look at the last week of of how much I spent on Facebook let me just show you that here coming up it's loading just let's go see I'm just curious right if I look at these link clicks look at that these are the, these are the ones that are active I only have a, a few of them that are active right now if I look at say last seven days okay so last seven days I spent 68 bucks 68 bucks on Facebook let's make it last 14 days just to kind of make it even right if I go whoops what's going on update or the COVID stuff okay um bad breaks whatever okay so let's just say I go from the the same day that I set up my Pinterest to now right update so that's okay how much I spent 128 dollars I spent 128 dollars here and how many clicks link clicks I've got so I had different things through plays so let's just say my link clicks I had let's do the math so I had so six plus 16 plus 7 plus 13. so this I had 42 link clicks on Facebook and if I look at Pinterest what where were where was our Pinterest so 262 versus 42 right two oh I guess you couldn't even see this this earlier <laughs> okay so I had 262 for 45 dollars so let's just uh, go into it let's open up a notepad here just for the fun of it because I want to I'm kind of curious to see how different that is okay so let's just do this on Pinterest I had 262 clicks link clicks for 45.14 all right on Facebook I had let's go back to Facebook here on Facebook oh actually I did the, the this in the calculator here so on Facebook I had 42 42 link clicks for how much for 128.68 all right so now what does that mean so that means that on Facebook so that's so let's do the math here uh, let's do this we'll do 245 14 divided by 262 that's 17 so let's just move that out of there that's 0 0.17229 per click right okay and on Facebook I did that and that is what what is that 128 68 divided by 42 that's three dollars oh my god <laughs> three zero six thirty eight per click look that's insane look at that the difference three dollars versus 17 cents 17 cents versus three dollars that is totally ridiculous isn't it right just to kind of show you the difference between Pinterest and now of course there's the whole okay getting to people to actually take action then going to the right place all this other stuff is the next level right I mean but getting people to click and go to your site is the first step right so I mean that's the thing so if I if I go back here to the where was I was I here Pinterest right there so I mean that's 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 super ridiculously insane if like I said if I go to analytics right here and I look at I don't know if I, my audience is ready yet but there's um so if I go to audience insights right here uh does it say anything yet okay so there you go this is the first time I see this because uh, until then I would go it would say not enough data yet right so we're seeing that uh what is it education 85 percent of my audience is interested in education 88 percent is in oh I guess that's all this but the age group 
my age group 18 to 24 wow I didn't even know there were younger people on Pinterest that is crazy and look at that female 66 percent of uh, you know people on Pinterest are women right then this is where my what countries I'm actually hitting United States Canada Brazil the devices Android versus iPhone versus web so this is really really powerful and it says 80k right is my audience size my engaged audience what about my engaged audience my engaged audience still female still Canada United States mostly this is really cool to see right uh, compare to what is that your audience to the to the total audience so I'm getting people more people interested in education versus what the general people on the Pinterest are so it's mostly the same right so that's kind of cool okay so what else can we do we can go in here we can look at uh let's go back to my overview in the overview you can see how many um of this is my paid versus my organic so over here we got you know 81 88k 2.6 <laughs> if I go on the organic just the organic the ones that aren't even paid which really it's still insane look at that the paid is really nothing I'm just getting 18,000 versus 70 right so it's like a 10 percent or whatever of it right or 20 percent maybe but still that's like ridiculous and here's the other thing what else we can see the clicks what is this totals for this pin include events for all pins the same image coin domain I'm not sure what that means there's lots of stuff to learn obviously but um claim the count all oh, right so the other thing is uh audiences so I'm actually building an audience right now they're still not ready okay um the ads I have right now you can see this total impression it's down because I I spent less I, I put more ads in the beginning right just to see how it would work uh what else uh, business hub. so you can actually have okay here's the other thing you will want to uh come create your account into a business account because when I first that I didn't have a business account I had a um I'm not sure where that goes but if I go to settings security apps account settings uh, new business type account oh there hide your pins delete your account no I'm not sure if you can undo the business thing or how you can change it to a business account but um but we can probably google that right so Pinterest how to switch to business Right? So you can just google that there's a look at that add a business profile to Pinterest account log into your personal Pinterest click the down arrow in the top right corner uh click add a free business account click get started follow the prompts to create your business account that's it it's just you know click a few things and that's it right and if we look at this um that's actually Pinterest help right it's their actual their own thing so do they have images here they're not showing any images here why what I guess the Google thing these images I guess it kind of shows how to do it yeah convert account right here you'll have account changes convert to a business account yeah so convert account that's where you would have it down under account changes so that's as simple as that and that's what Pinterest is all about and that's that's where I got 1.2 million <laughs> growth 1 million 200 thousand growth in my in my audience my total audience grew to 88,000 in just two weeks so I'm going to keep going we'll see how it goes after a month but that's how I got 1 million 200 thousand percent increase in my audience so hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions just go ahead and reach out we're gonna, I'm probably going to do some more training on this but I just thought you'd be interested in knowing how to grow your audience and this is where I'm going to be putting my courses I'm going to be putting all sorts of things on there and it's going to be really insane how you know how amazing is that right how amazing is that 81,000 
uh in my audience growth right so I mean look at this so through four thousand three thousand let's just uh let's just uh let's just uh, do this I'm just want to see so yeah so look at that look at that so <laughs> that's insane print 1.7 1.5 22 4.9 it's insane look at this look at this this is totally insane right can you see it for yourself can you see that as a possibility for you right you can also get that let me just move myself out of the way so you can kind of see this whole thing I just want to show this yeah so there you go so with Pinterest you can grow your audience to 1 million increase if you want you can do that it's possible you can do that just go ahead and set up your account and follow some of the things I talk here and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.